Elon Musk warns new AI would kill 90% of humanity. Elon Musk is known for his futuristic bets, but the latest rush to embrace artificial intelligence scares him, and he believes you should be scared as well. Is artificial intelligence and superintelligence the best or worst thing that could ever happen to humanity? This has been a question since the 1940s, when computer scientist Alan Turing speculated and began to believe that there would come a time when machines would have an unlimited impact on humanity through a process similar to evolution. With its emphasis on all the things that could go wrong, Oxford University professor Nick Bostrom's New York Times bestseller, Superintelligence, Paths, Dangers, Strategies, first appeared in 2014. It struck a nerve at the heart of this debate. However, in a recent conversation with Bostrom, he acknowledged that intelligence technology has enormous potential. Since the publication of Bostrom's work in 2014, progress in artificial intelligence and machine deep learning has been extremely rapid. Artificial intelligence is a topic of public discussion, and most governments have some sort of AI strategy or roadmap in place. In his book, he compared artificial intelligence to children playing with a bomb that could detonate at any time. Bostrom elaborated, There is a mismatch between our level of maturity in terms of wisdom and our ability to cooperate as a species on the one hand, and our instrumental ability to use technology to make significant changes in the world on the other. We appear to have grown stronger, faster than we have wiser. And Elon Musk, the billionaire entrepreneur, has also warned that superintelligence smarter than humans could lead to the creation of an immortal dictator. Musk literally shoots for the moon. He sends cheap rockets into space and hopes to one day live on Mars. He develops sleek batteries that could pave the way for a world powered by inexpensive solar energy. He forges gleaming steel into sensuous Tesla electric cars with such elegant lines that even the most critical Steve Jobs would have struggled to find flaws. He wants to save both time and humanity by inventing the Hyperloop. Musk's alarming views on the dangers of AI first went viral after he spoke at MIT in 2014, speculating that AI was probably humanity's biggest existential threat. He went on to say that he was becoming more inclined to believe that there should be some national or international regulatory oversight committee to Silicon Valley to make sure that we don't do something very foolish. We are summoning the demon with artificial intelligence, he continued. You know all those stories about the guy with the pentagram and the holy water who thinks he can control the demon? It doesn't work. Some artificial intelligence engineers found Musk's theatrics so amusing that they began echoing it. When they returned to the lab after a short break, they'd say, OK. Musk stated in a documentary by American filmmaker Chris Payne that the development of superintelligence by a company or other group of people could result in a type of AI that governs the world. The least scary future he can imagine is one in which we have at least democratized AI, because if one company or small group of people develops godlike digital superintelligence, they could take over the world. Musk was an investor in DeepMind before it was acquired by Google in 2014 as part of its AI shopping spree. He explained that his involvement was not motivated by a desire to make a profit, but rather by a desire to keep a close eye on the evolution of artificial intelligence. It gave me more visibility into the rate at which things were improving, and I believe they're improving at a much faster rate than people realize. Musk is a major player in artificial intelligence, in part through his car company. Tesla is the world's largest robotics company, according to Elon Musk. Our cars are semi-sentient robots on wheels, he said, last year during a speech for the company's AI day. He also announced plans to build a prototype robot sometime in 2022 at the event. He claims that the robot will be friendly and will eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. He promised to make the robot both slow enough to avoid and powerful enough to overpower. Tesla has not only pushed AI-powered autopilot systems beyond what regulators like the National Transport Safety Board say is prudent over the years, but has also failed to implement critical NTSB safety recommendations for over four years, according to an October 2021 letter from Jennifer Hemendi, the agency chair. In addition, as Fortune reported in February 2022, Musk's brain chip startup Neuralink may have misled federal regulators about his role. Musk claims that Neuralink chips will aid humans in achieving a symbiosis with artificial intelligence. Musk's willingness to comply with securities regulations raises broader concerns about how Neuralink might comply with regulations for brain-computer interfaces, which experts argue are desperately needed. 
It serves Musk's interests to position himself and his companies as best able to address an elevated imagining of the risks around AI, said Emmanuel Moss, a postdoctoral scholar at Cornell Tech and the Data and Society Research Institute. According to Mosk, Musk believes his companies are among the few who are capable of addressing the risks of AI in a technically astute or robust manner. Musk, on the other hand, wants to sell a shiny box that solves the problems. He believes that there are technical solutions to what are actually social problems. According to Alex John London, director of Carnegie Mellon University's Center for Ethics and Policy, warnings about AI make the industry look socially minded and are often window dressing meant to build trust without that trust being warranted. Gian Claudio Margieri, an AI regulation and automated decision-making professor at EDHEC Business School in Lille, sees Musk's marketing strategy as having AI as an enhancement of humanity rather than a substitution of humanity. However, this distinction is not clear. According to Malgieri, people alive 50 years ago would be surprised to learn how much of our mental capacity we've already given to AI, such as how simple it is now to Google basic facts or rely on GPS and AI to find directions to a friend's house, or how deeply algorithmic recommendations now shape people's musical preferences. Immediately before Musk spoke about Tesla's robotic ambitions at AI Day, a person dressed in a tight white bodysuit and a blank-faced mask walked onto the stage, as if trying to fool the audience into thinking they were a highly capable robot, before dancing maniacally to electronic music. It's a startling attempt to blur the distinction between humans and robots. Malieri told the story of the frog in the saucepan full of boiling water who doesn't realize it's going to die until it's too late. When do we begin to give away our humanity to machines, he wondered. There are numerous exciting AI tools and applications that are beginning to impact the economy in a variety of ways. These should not be overshadowed by the excessive amount of talk about AIs with general learning and planning abilities comparable to humans, as well as super intelligent machines. If we focus on what is currently possible with AI, here are some of the potential negative effects of AI that we should consider and plan for. Changes in human labor slash job automation. AI will alter the workplace and the jobs that people perform. Because AI technology will eliminate some jobs, humans will need to embrace change and find new activities that will provide them with the social and mental benefits their job provided. Political, legal, and social consequences. As Bostrom and Elon Musk suggest, Rather than avoiding AI innovation, our priority should be to put ourselves in the best possible position so that when everything falls into place, we can say we did our homework. We've created scalable AI control methods, considered ethics and governments and so on, and then proceed with the hope of having an extremely positive outcome. If our governments and business institutions do not spend time now developing rules, regulations and responsibilities, there may be significant negative consequences as AI matures. AI-enabled terrorism, autonomous drones, robotic swarms, and remote and nanorobot attacks will change the way conflicts are fought. We'll need to keep an eye on the global autonomous weapons race in addition to worrying about a nuclear arms race. Social manipulation and AI bias. AI is still vulnerable to bias from the humans who built it. If there is bias in the data sets from which the AI is trained, that bias will influence AI action. In the wrong hands, AI can be used for social manipulation and misinformation, as it was in the 2016 US presidential election. AI Surveillance While AI's face recognition capabilities provide conveniences, such as unlocking phones and gaining access to a building without keys, it also launched what many civil liberties groups believe is alarming public surveillance. Face recognition technology is being used by police and governments in China and other countries to invade people's privacy. According to Bostrom, AI's ability to monitor global information systems using surveillance data, cameras, and mining social network communications has both good and bad implications. As Elon Musk described, the biggest threat is the longer-term problem of introducing something radical that's super-intelligent and failing to align it with human values and intentions. This is a major technical issue. We'd solve the capability problem before the safety and alignment problems. Musk believes that it is better to try to get super AI first and then distribute the technology to the world than to allow the algorithms to be hidden and concentrated in the hands of tech or government elites, even if those tech elites happen to be his friends, such as Google founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin. You know Musk is always up to something, and if he is warning us about something, then it is definitely not to be ignored.